Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to revisit a video I made three years ago about playing Windows games on Linux. So in that video, I was on an older Ubuntu computer, and I basically installed StarCraft II, which is a Blizzard game, on my Linux computer using a program called Lutris and Wine. Now, I was looking at installing this on a newer 24.04 version of Ubuntu on a new laptop I just got, and I noticed on Reddit there was a post from about a year ago about a different way to install uh, Windows games on their Linux system. So basically what they did here is they downloaded a battle.net exe file from Blizzard's website, and then they used Steam to install the, the game, which has Proton running in the background. So I initially tried doing that, and I actually had some trouble. So the first thing I tried to do is I opened up my software center, and I looked for Steam, and I download Steam, uh, via Snap, and you can see it's still installed on my computer, but every time I actually tried to run the EXE for Battle.net, it would give me an installation loop that would just never finish, and I looked up and it seemed like other people were having similar problems. So after a little bit of research, I found people talking about another project called Bottles, and this actually worked a lot better for me. So I basically used this to install the program, and I'll just run through that process real quick so folks who aren't familiar with the application as I was when I first looked at it can get a, a quick lay of the land and figure out how you can install something like Battle.net and play StarCraft II on your Linux computers. So I'm over here at the Bottles website, usebottles.com, and I can come up here and I can get Bottles, and basically they have a flat pack installation method. So I'm gonna use flat pack. I'm gonna go over here and you can see the installation instructions are basically to install flat hub and flat pack and then uh, use bottles. So I can do that. I don't think I have flat pack on my um, computer yet. So let me just look up install flat pack real quick. Ubuntu 24. Okay. So basically, you can install Flatpak this way. So um, on later, you can just use, so if you're on Ubuntu 18 or later, which is pretty old at this point, you can just install it this way. If you're on older version, then you have to add basically this PPA. So we can just grab this command here and install it. So I'm gonna go and actually open up my terminal. And let's see, I'm going to first type in Flatpak just to make sure Okay, no flat pack is found, so then I'm going to apt install. And actually, I use a new package manager, Nala. It's very similar to apt, and I'm just going to install flat pack this way. And I'll press Y to install. Okay, so flat pack is installed now. That's great. I'm going to now come back over here to this installation instructions. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste this in here. So flat pack install flat hub com dot use bottles dot bottles. So note remote refs found flat hub. That's interesting. Let me just see what's going on with that. I'm going to just search this. Okay. So basically, we'll just add flat hub here. So I'm going to copy this whole command here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to flat pack remote add user if not exists and then flat hub. And I'm going to have the path to flathub.org. Press enter. Now let's try this one more time. And we might have to restart our shell here, but let's give this a shot. Okay, so that seemed to work. So now I'm going to press Y for yes. And I'm going to proceed with installation Y, yes. Okay, so then we can come back here to the bottles installation and we can run bottles by running this command here. So I'm going to flat pack run com dot use bottles dot bottles. Okay, great. So it says welcome to bottles. I got this little dialog pops up to give you a little intro. So bottles uses compatibility runners to provide isolated containerized windows like environments where programs run. It's almost done. A few more minutes to set everything up. We'll say continue. Okay, it says everything's all ready, so we can start using bottles. 
and we have a library here and we have bottles and create a new bottle. So if we create a new bottle, we'll call it battle net. We'll say create. Okay, so the bottle battle net was created. So instead of running the executable for my download, I can actually go to install programs and they have this curated list of programs here. So BattleNet, Blizzard's BattleNet is one right here. So I'm just going to actually install this program this way. And I'm going to start the installation. This will probably work a lot better. Okay, so it said it completed. I did see the login screen pop up for a second, but it did the same thing where I don't see it anymore. So I'm gonna to go to show programs. Let's see here. Is this gonna be in my library now? Nope. Battle.net. Okay, so I have Battle.net. This is one of my programs. If I press play, it says it's launching Battle.net. It pops up for a second. And then it does not stay. Let's configure the bottle settings. Now this is where things get kind of weird. So I try to switch from soda to wine and then I try to run that and it has a bunch of errors. I sped that up for you and then I basically just switch back to the default soda options and then I go back and I try to run it again and it works for some reason. Now it's not a really sophisticated explanation for what happened there and why it wasn't working initially but in my case that fixed things and hopefully that will work for you as well. And now the rest of this video, I'm basically just logging into my account and then I already have StarCraft 2 under my account, so I start that up. And then I just basically boot into the application and I, I start a game so you can see what it looks like from a lag perspective. There's not really anything else to demonstrate here, so if you wanna just quit and, and leave this video now, that totally makes sense. But if you wanna stick around and see the rest of this play out, feel free to stick around and, and see what that's like. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Just hit escape to cancel that. Enough minerals. You have not enough minerals.